It's now in his Jack's place, and this large block of land at Whedon's just south of Christchurch has been home to the Smolensky family for half a century. So that's the farm as it is now? Yes. It's a lot of land, isn't it? There's 100 acres. Dad purchased the property in 1969, and uh, he had two stables going at the same time, and um, eventually sold his first block at Templeton and, and carried on developing this block. In its heyday it was home to some champions like 1973 New Zealand Cup winner Arapaho. The five open class horses that was most probably the highlight of, of racing on the farm. But now the stables are empty awaiting demolition, the fields are being ploughed and a major makeover is about to get underway. I think next time you see uh, Jacks will be completely different. Amanda Telfer is a key figure in the transformation. She trains alongside brother Steve for industry heavyweight Stonewall Stud, which is owned by Steve and Jill Stockman. They already have a state-of-the-art complex in Papakura and now a similar one will be built as their southern base with a 45-box barn. Up home we've got one main track, but it's fairly wide so we jog on the inside and fast work on the outside. So whether he's going to do the same setup, yeah, it'll be interesting. Until it's built, the Telfer's southern operation is based at Dancing on Moonlight, a top-end establishment north of the city that is home to the New Zealand Cup champions Christian Cullen, Bailey's Dream and Monkey King. It's um, a lovely setup and it's got everything you need and yeah, we're quite happy here. Telfer's key staff include foreman David White and stable driver Tim Williams. And hopefully we'll have teams to take the Australia and stuff like that uh, next year and uh, I'll sort of keep an uh, eye on the things day to day then. Um, but just at, at the moment with Mandy here I'm just sort of second fiddle and uh, just follow her instructions and learn the way they um, you know, like things done. Having a small team and having plenty of staff to, to horses ratio, you, you want to make sure you get the results. So, you know, we've been fortunate the team's race really well so far and hopefully we can keep it standard up. He went past Stylish Memphis and darling me, brilliant fresh up. Darling They've been training a smallish team until now with reinforcements on the way. They're going to have sort of upwards of 30 horses there. So, yeah, for me as a driver, the more horses they have, the better. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. There's a nice Addington team here at the moment, but we're sort of there's going to be a few others to attack the Sunday meetings and grass and stuff like that. So um, we'll be able to have all the bases covered shortly, I think. We will build the numbers up down here because obviously there's a lot more racing opportunity down here than what there is in Auckland. We've got Auckland and Cambridge and the odd trip to Manawa too. It's sort of that's um, that's all there is, and we've been having four and five horses in a race up there, so to split them up would be great. The wise guy BD Joe with nice gate speed to be first and second inside the first 200 metres here. It will be well into next year at least before they move out to their new home and it's not just Jack's place that's being transformed. Adjoining land has also been snapped up and that includes Mark Smolenski's property that backs onto Jack's. He will leave within 18 months. Um, I'm just looking at properties down at Wood End on the beach. I'm just going to train three or four down there and just semi-retire. There's going to be a, a magnificent prop property when it's set up and uh, it'll be, be good to have a big team down there.